well here I am back again now to continue on with this I have found that piece that I thought looked really good in here um, you can tell me what you think but I thought that that made it so good <laughs> it's only like I've run out of adjectives feeding them I, you know that looks good but I could not put this in here because I did not know um, what it was and it's probably a little bit bit old looking got got a little couple of stones missing so I thought well but it gives it a lot of life you know compared to putting something that's good but it's not good enough I don't think I you know I like the, the blingy thing but anyway so that was that idea for that one now that's the gathered one now the um, wire one so I made these before, I know I've got a tutorial up on these, I did a mauve colour I think, um, but I can save anybody going and trying to find that, because it's, I um, can't remember what it actually was called, I'm just going to show you how I did that one, uh, and there's others too that, um, but anyway, now we need a needle and cotton for this, and got this here will do me. so you take your um, ribbon and you fold it over like that now this I don't cut mine because I want to just see where I get to I might go a little tiny way past there I don't know and I'm going to do seven peaks on it or eight whatever that one has and I can pull that right through because it's got a good fat knot so it shouldn't go through the hole. Now we're going to just turn this over here on the end just a little ways like so and make a couple of stitches across there. Don't go, don't try to put your needle through your wire. Be careful because that's not going to be work well for you at all. So then we'll put that through. I mean of course it's going to get hooked up and everything. That's just the way things go sometimes when you're trying to show them on the video. We'll, we'll get past that, won't we? Now, yeah, okay. So now you've got that piece like that. Now you want to put this, turn this one down that way. You're sort of going with whichever way it's going to want to go itself next. I'm going to turn it back this way though, and on the top, you can see there how wide that gap is up here, as down there as well, if you know. And we'll go down here like this. Um, hopefully later on today or. Um, tomorrow, what's tomorrow? No, maybe not tomorrow. Anyway, I told Irene I'll, t I'll put up a, a video on how I made that book for her on the basic construction of his, the base of it. Um, so I'll be doing that probably in the next week. I've got a couple of things I need to do tomorrow, so I might not get it done till I don't know. But what I'm doing tomorrow is going to take me a while, so I'm gonna. I've got um. And then you just keep going along here like this. I have got eight boxes. I've got more than eight, but I have got eight. Five litre box, 55 litre boxes that I'm going to take outside because I'm going to get them out of the house and my I'm going to go through them and I'm going to sort them out there full of fabric and so forth. And I can't do anything with it. I can't keep it all. I'm going to have to... Um, downsize really lot so I don't know whether I'm going to sell it really cheap because I can't I'll, I'll surely send anybody in here that want any if it's going to pay the postage because I can't do it that myself but I'm just going to go through all that uh, one two three four five six because I need to make some more space, I want to, I have a table that I bought, and I don't know, I don't, don't know if I've told her this, but I still haven't got it in here because I need to get them boxes out. Because other than those eight, I've got another five or six in here with me, as well as whatever else is in here. So I just need to do that. It's a very important thing that I need to 
get rid of it because it was a lot of it belonged to my mum and a lot of it was given to me. One, two, three, four, five, six by friends and people that know you so and then they bring it to the door. It's just amazing, you know. People are so some people can be really so nice, it's just but then you could you can get too much, you know. So, um and of course I bought a lot too. <laughs> Anyway, so we've got seven of those now. Sorry for carrying one waffling on there a bit. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, if you can understand that. Now, I'm going to just check this knot here because I want to make sure it's okay. And I'm going to slowly pull this up like this. Now I know Nita's got a video on this and she does hers with two layers of, she had ribbon and lace on hers when she was doing it and they turned out really, really nice. Um, so if you want to go over, that's Crafty Nita on YouTube and she does lots and lots of really nice flowers. Uh, and her tutorials are really easy to follow. Now I'm going to put some glue I think I'll do the I might do a tie up first. I might tie it up first and see if I can just bring it in a bit further so I don't let it go. Because sometimes they tend to be far be open a bit to what that you'd like them to be. Let me see what have we got. Where is that supposed to be, Sonia? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's the tail. Oh, that's his tail there that I've just ended off, you know. Which would probably would be better if that was sitting up there because of the colours. Because they're um, it's variegated. It'd be better if I just leave that sitting up there. Okay. I don't think I need any glue. But now, you just get that there like so. And make your little peaky bits. Okay, and you want to um, get a bit of hot glue on your piece of card here and stick that on. You know. Now, what you've got to do is figure out what your centre will be like, which is something that I just um, <laughs> showed you in another one. You just have to um, go through whatever you've got and see what sort of centre would look right on that. Well see, so far that is going okay, that centre, isn't it? You know, I mean, that looks pretty good. And then probably would go back to to that. Yeah, that's not bad, is it? Okay, now uh, just a quick little thing. Um, I have got, well I've got this here that I'm going to probably put something else underneath. So I'm going to show you with this Fur, fur, fun fiber, whatever if people say it is. See, see this here. Now, to put, I put it across there like that. Don't like that. So, I get it. Get some, get some glue again. Put this bit of glue on here with this khaki old gun. And if you get it and you form it into a circle, lay it down like that, and go around like so. Okay. And that way, it'll all sit out like it's supposed to look like that, all right? You can put around a couple of rows if you want it a bit fuller than what, or maybe, maybe I might just cut that bit off because I'm not really happy that it goes that far. Hang on. Oh, now I'm going to have a glue thing. <laughs> eh, is a glue thing happening? Just one lap of that is enough, I think. I think. Um, and just for this, the idea, you would pull it in so it will fit underneath whatever centre you're putting on there, okay? It won't be too fussy because I'll probably pull that off anyway and, and fix it in a bit further to the middle. Well, that might be okay. But that's how I put that fibre, fun fibre, it is actually wool. As far as Australia is concerned, it is actually a wool. <laughs> but anyway, so that's how I do those ones. Um, and I also have this here one that I just tear. 
the strips off very thin pieces of fabric. Now this is a um, a very see-through piece. Now if you go to your dress shop or whatever, you, you can just buy people, you know, might, they might say, oh it's, you know, 12, 14 dollars a metre, but you only want about 20 centimetres and they will cut you off that much because it's really long that way and you can still do your flowers if you can't. And that's where you get the nice pretty colours from, okay? So um, I think that's all for the for the time being. I'm working on my butterfly. Uh, I think he's down here just getting himself dried up a bit. But I was going to show you then later how I do that one, okay? He's not finished yet, so I'll talk to you later. Bye.